Today we're going to speak about popular resort style new construction communities in Sarasota. I'm going to not talk about any of the communities in Lake Ranch because I'm actually going to make that a separate video. So if you're somebody that is interested in new construction communities in Sarasota or maybe you live around the area and you're just interested to see what's being developed, well, this video is going to be for you. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Katrin Fitzsimmons. I'm a local real estate agent in Sarasota, Lake Ranch, and Venice. And I love helping buyers and sellers with their real estate needs. So please call, text, or email me anytime. And let's see if we can team up. So we're headed into one of Sarasota's most popular neighborhoods called Palmer Ranch, which sits west of Highway 75. And Palmer Ranch is Sarasota's largest master plan community. Buyers will often choose between Lake Ranch or Palma Ranch. Now I would say that Palma Ranch's advantage over Lakewood Ranch is the proximity to the beaches, to Venice, and also downtown Sarasota. When it comes to new construction homes, there's only a few options left for new construction communities in Palma Ranch, unless you're willing to purchase a resale home. The first new construction community we're gonna go into is called Talon Preserve. Talon Preserve is on the southern side of Palma Ranch, and actually technically falls within Nokomas, which is an unincorporated town just to the south of Sarasota. This is a great location if you wanna be close to the beaches, but you want to be in an area that's in an X flood zone, which is a preferred flood zone. Nokomas Beach is just 10 minutes away. Venice Beach is about 50 minutes away and then a little bit further north is Siesta Key about 25 minutes away. Since Salon Preserve sits between Sarasota and North Venice this is a great location to be in if you want to take part in both the Sarasota and the Venice lifestyle because it's going to be easy to commute to either one of these two places. Most of the arts and culture will be in the Sarasota area, but Venice also evolved a lot over the last few years. And there's some really great restaurants, especially on Main Street. Having said all of that, let's actually go into Talon Preserve. Talon Preserve is packed with so many amenities, which are coming in the spring of 2023. And the amenities include a resort style pool, a heated spa, a restaurant bar and grill. There's gonna be a fitness center, pickleball courts, I think eight of them, two tennis courts, for bocce ball courts and a dog park. Talon Preserve also has a direct connection to the Legacy Trail, which is probably Sarasota's most popular biking and running trail, which now is over 21 miles long and actually runs from Palma Ranch all the way to downtown Sarasota and actually the opposite direction into Venice. The builder is Tavesta, which is a brand old from Pulte Group, which is a publicly traded company. Tavesta, the brand itself, has been building homes in Florida since the 1960s. So this builder has decades of experience. In this community, you're gonna have the option of villas and single family homes that are either one or two stories. Now a three bedroom, two bath single family home is gonna start in the $500,000 range and can easily go into the million dollar range. The community is maintenance free with lawn care included in the HOA fees and there's no CDD fees in this community which to some people is actually a really nice plus. Now once completely built out there's going to be about 926 homes in this community. For you people who have kids, Talon Preserve is in an A-rated public school system and is zoned to Laurel, Nokoma School, Elementary and Middle School and Venice High School. I think this location is awesome if you want to be west of 75, you want to be closer to the beaches and you want to have the option of easily traveling to Venice or the Sarasota points of interest. Now if you're somebody who's going to want to commute to Tampa or St. Petersburg for example, and you want easy access to I-75, Interstate 75, it's just a jump away very close by. We're now going to venture towards the northern part of Palma Ranch into a community called Sunrise Preserve. Sunrise Preserve is even more centrally located in Sarasota because it's further north and sits a little bit closer to Siesta Key Beach in the downtown Sarasota area. It's also just a hop away from Interstate 75. This community is rich with amenities as well. The community has a pool, a clubhouse with fitness center, there's tennis and pickleball courts, and an activities director for fitness and educational classes, which most of these new resort stock communities all have. Now what's really cool about this community is that the amenities center is already open, it's completely accessible. Now the builder is Matami Homes, which is a privately owned company. Matami Homes was actually founded in Toronto in 1978 and today is Canada's largest residential home builder and in the US is one of the top 25 builders. Sunrise Preserve offers nine one-level single-family home floor plans, two to four bedrooms, 
two to three bathrooms and two to three car garages. Most of this community is already built out, but there's some opportunities, especially with move-in ready homes that are gonna be available in the first half of 2023. And then there's a few additional lot opportunities that are gonna become available fairly soon. The prices here start in the highest 600,000s for a small single family home. So of course, as an HOA community, there's an HOA fee and that includes lawn care. So this is a maintenance-free community and there's no CDD fees here. The school system, Sarasota County is A-rated and Sunrise Preserve is in an A-rated public school system naturally, right? Because it's in Sarasota. And so it's zoned to Ashton Elementary, Sarasota Middle School and Riverview High School. This new construction community is a bit smaller than the other communities that we're gonna be discussing in this video. But the value proposition for this community is the central Sarasota location and closeness to Siesta Key Beach and downtown Sarasota. But now we're gonna head over to the other side of Highway 75. And we're gonna to refer to this area as East of 75, which is actually located below Lakewood Ranch. This area used to be mainly farm and cattle land, but this area is really changing with all these new construction opportunities because west of 75 in Sarasota there's just not a lot of land to build on anymore. We're heading to a community called Grand Park which if you were to look at it on a map is actually on the opposite side of Palmer Ranch on the other side of I-75. The Grand Park is a gated community. It's just 12 miles to Siesta Key, 15 miles to Waterside Place in Lake Ranch and approximately 13 miles to the UTC shopping area. It's also really close to Interstate 75 if you needed to travel to Tampa of St. Petersburg for work or for leisure. Now the amenities at Grand Park will include two resort style pools, there's going to be a clubhouse naturally, pickleball and tennis courts, lots of walking trails and a lot of open green space are dedicated in this area here. The amenity center will be completed and open in the first quarter of 2023 so they're almost done. Now for you golfing fans, right next door is a golfing community called Serenoa which is the premier public golf course in Sarasota and it's literally right next door so it makes it very accessible to go golfing if you live in Grand Park. Grand Park is developed by Neal Communities which is a family-owned business which has built over 19,000 homes for over 50 years mainly in southwest Florida and this community will have about 900 homes once it's completely built out. There's gonna be 18 floor plans that you can choose from. They're gonna include villas, one and two-story single-family homes with either two or three door garages and home sizes that are going to range from 1,400 to about 2,900 square feet. This community is maintenance free also where lawn care is included in the HOA fees. This community also has an added CDD fee. Grand Park, because it is in Sarasota, falls within an A-rated public school system as well and is specifically zoned to Liquid Elementary, Sarasota Middle, and Riverview High School. What I love about Grand Park is how wide open it feels with lots of green space and little parks just all around the community. This area really feels serene. You really do feel like you're kind of away on vacation when you're here, away from the hustle and bustle of Sarasota, yet you're still really close enough to all major points of interest, right? So if you wanted to go to the beach, it's not that far away. It would take you probably 20, 25 minutes to get to a beach. The UTC mall is about 15 to 20 minutes away, depending on traffic. And then Waterside Place in Lakewood Ranch is not far away either. The last community that we're gonna to visit today is east of 75 as well, but further east called Sky Ranch. Sky Ranch sits between the intersection of Clark Road and Lorraine Road. And this is the largest new construction community on the list when we compare the number of homes and acres in the community. Now when Sky Ranch is gonna be completely built out, there's gonna be approximately 1,200 single family homes and 360 townhomes, which are going to be in a community that is gonna be spanning over 1,000 acres. This is a really big community, but to some people, this area feels a little bit more remote because of its far Eastern location in Sarasota, but I've heard a lot of other people saying that they bought into the community because of all of the amenities that are obviously planned. You truly feel like you, you're on vacation, right? Because you're away from the hustle and bustle, even more so than you are in Grand Park. And you have beautiful wetlands, lakes and wildlife, which are all kind of nearby. Sky Ranch broke grounds in 2020 and is made up of three communities, which include Cassia, 
the Esplanade and the townhomes. Made by Taylor Morrison, a publicly traded company, one of the largest home builders in the United States. Casio offers 15 floor plans ranging from either one to two story homes, three to five bedrooms, two to three car garages, and lofts, or these playrooms. Single family homes are gonna start at around $600,000 and up. The hub is the amenity center, which is gonna be very vast, but they're still building it and it's not being planned to open until the end of 2023. But once this amenity center is gonna be completely done, it's gonna be amazing. There's gonna be a clubhouse, resort style pool and spa. They're gonna have a ju junior Olympic pool. There's gonna be kids pool and splash pad. I mean, lots of pools, fitness center, basketball court, rock climbing. There's gonna be a cafe and an event lawn. Now there's the Esplanade community, which is right next to Cassia. And the hub is gonna be shared with the Esplanade community. Now Cassia is not a maintenance free community. You're going to have an HOA fee, which is going to cover the amenities and also the ground keep. But when it comes to mowing your lawn, taking care of your yard, you're gonna to have to figure out how you're gonna do that, or whether you hire somebody you do yourself. There's also an added CDD fee in this community. The Esplanade is a connected community to Cassia and will share the amenities in the hub. But the Esplanade is actually also going to have their own exclusive amenity center, which they're referring to at rendezvous and it's going to consist of a resort style pool there's going to be a cabana a spa bocce ball pickleball courts an event lawn and a park so this amenity center in the Esplanade is going to be amazing as well. There's seven floor plans that are available consisting of connected units and one story single family homes. And they're going to be ranging from either two to five bedrooms and two garages. Connected homes here start in the high 400,000s and single family homes are going to go from the high 700,000s easily into the million dollar range. So in all four communities, I would say the Esplanade is going to be the most expensive option for you. The third community in Sky Ranch is the townhomes. There's four floor plans to choose from, starting in the 300,000s, which can go well into the $400,000 range. Now, I think this community is great if you wanted to be in Sky Ranch, but you didn't want to spend more money in a single family home and you don't mind sharing walls. The amenity center for this section here is gonna be awesome too. There's gonna be a pool, cabana area, there's gonna be a pet park and an adventure park. Now naturally Sky Ranch is in Sarasota, so it's automatically in an A-rated public school system, but the schools zoned for Sky Ranch is Lakeview Elementary, Sarasota Middle, and Riverview High School. The intention of this video is to highlight resort style new construction communities in the Sarasota area that are still selling homes. Now if you're interested in exploring any of these further, just contact me and we can talk about them in much more detail. Here's what you need to know. There's a lot of incentives to take advantage of towards the end of the year because builders are trying to make the numbers and with demand softening, especially over the summertime into Q4, this is a great opportunity if you're already planning to purchase, to purchase now towards the end of the year because that way you can take advantage of the incentives and get a better deal. If you're interested in any of these communities and you want more information, feel free to contact me, call me anytime. I'd love to connect with you. I can help you through the entire process. And if you're still watching until this point, thank you so much for watching this video, especially until the very end. As I always say, I really appreciate it when you guys do. Thank you and take care.